Welcome back, everybody. Drenchix White Plays. We're playing Baldur's Gate 3 here. Um, oh, not as bad as it could have. We're going to get out of turn based mode. We're going to do a fast travel. I'm almost thinking I should take a long rest before I do this. Because I'm running out of spell slots. I've seriously thought about bringing Gale. I don't know how I got down there. Well, we'll go to the Ancient Forge. We'll try this. Alright, so... From here... Never wanted the easy part. We're going to go straight down here. Because we've already explored everything up here. Right? Yeah, this is where things got weird looking. Uh, no. Because you got to come like to here. To here. And then you got to jump. You had to come down here. This is where I was a couple of videos ago. And I was going to jump on this. Uh... my jump. Okay. Uh, now what I wanted to do is before I go playing with the forge, there's a space over here. I'm wondering if we're going to find more mithril or molds or something. So... Let's go. Let's go looking over here and see what we can find. Lots of lava down there. Lava's exploding. Why is the lava exploding? It's not exploding anywhere else. Ready to burst. Okay. The lava's erupting. Better watch my step. Okay. So stay away from the lava. Duh. Not something I would like, you know, go jump inside of. There's nothing here. So there's nothing here for, like, the forge, like mithril or anything. No, doesn't look like it. Look very good. What the hell is that? What is that? A lava elemental. It has ninety five hit points. Magmatic Magmatic Disturbance, Magmatic Regeneration. Uh, it's resistant to my arrows. It's immune to fire. Subject to cold. And resistant to poison. So what does this do? Manic regeneration. We gain 20 to 120 hit points when starting a turn in lava. Okay. Disturbs nearby lava, making it bubble and explode. 
I don't think I can do 95 points of damage in a turn, can I? Oh jeez, I don't know. Do I have to fight him or can I sneak around him? If I have to fight him, I die. Don't I? Okay, uh... What do I know about this thing? Um, that I'm supposed to rescue? Uh... Help the spirit of the amulet. He read the journal of Dark Jessica. He mentioned an amulet of great power that also made the wearer laugh. It was cast into the lava. Dark Jessica. So do I want to take Shadowheart? Unless I have to open something, she's not going to be very good at opening anything. But take me? If I have to resist a spell, I'm not very good at resisting spells. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is not cool. And I'm only six minutes in. Okay. Well, what we'll do... So we'll come, we'll bring the party back up here. What happens if I move us over this way? If I get to here. Oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Stop it. Okay, I gotta jump from here. So if I were to do some jumping. I lose any damage? No. I have to jump and jump from here to there. So I'd have to jump down here, run up here, jump over here, and run up there. All while he's not around. Because if he sees us, we die. So I want to wait till his back is turned. I don't want to do this. So if I wait till he walks by. Can I do this? Stop here for a second. Now what I want to do is I'm going to have Shar cast guidance on me. I don't know if she can concentrate on guidance while I'm doing this. But I'm going to have her do guidance on me. So Shar. Shar. Oh, why won't you? All right. So I can't do it that way. I have to do it this way. Shar. Why can't I select Shar? Oh, because I'm in a mode. Okay, so if Shar goes guidance on me. I'm going to turn mode. Can I do this? Uh, before I go any farther, quick save. In case this doesn't work. Okay, she can end her turn. She's not important. Um, you can end your turn. You're not going to do anything. I'm the guy that's going to jump. As far as I can. Don't waste a step. I get to move to here.
Right. Then I'll end my turn. End your turn. That should be the lava guy should do his thing. She's still alive. So that's so I wanna move. Where's that lava thing? I do not want it to see me. Lava monster gone, right? Okay, so I'm gonna move up to here. What path lies before? I don't think I could jump that far. Not enough movement. Okay. Okay, so I've got to waste another turn. Oh, I could go for a good meal. The pride of the gate. Okay. And then Will skips his turn. Now I should be able to jump to here. If not over, then through. Up as far as I can. Okay, end turn. Well, well, well. Okay. Not enough movement, huh? Money! I got the money! Then there's a damn sea chest. That must be where the thing is. And he's back there. I don't know what that is. I don't see... Just the damn the chine chest. All right, so if we end our turn, making me sweat. Way to go, still. That should reset my stuff. Go to me. Should be able to. Well, see if I can open it. Well, then let's lock pick it. Oh, maybe not. I need at least an eight. Got exactly an eight. Boysha, boysha. Difficulty class 20. That's tough. All right. So we continue. Am I still allowed to sneak in and look at it? Okay, what have we got here? The elixir of vigilance. All right, okay. Oil of accuracy. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, before I pick that up, let's have me pick up all this stuff. Because this is the Sentient Amulet. Let's you cast a level 2 Shatter spell, talk to the Sentient am Amulet, and key restoration. But I don't have a monk. And I really don't want to lose my Speak with Dead thing. Who do I want to have be able to do this? Who should be talking to it? Well, okay. Before I do that, let's quick save here. All right, I'm going to take it. The okay. amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. Oh, and now endure. Give in to the laughter. What is happening? What are you doing to me? Drop the amulet. Oh, I'll probably fail this, but... Let's try wisdom. I need to get a 10 and I'm plus 3 to 6, so I need a 7 to be sure. Got a 12. Cont 
continue. The laugh urge fades. A quiet power spreads from hand to head and down to your feet. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> Return me, take me home, and thou shalt glow with blessings. Lift the amulet, stole the amulet. Do I want to find out about this? Discard the amulet, investigate, examine the amulet. What would this be? Insight wouldn't be that great, but investigation. I'm good at investigation. That's what I do. Well, maybe not. Oh, I barely made my investigation roll. What does it say? Etched on its face is an image of the dawning sun. Are you a ghost? What happened to you? Charles broke my body, but my spirit they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> okay, you're a crazy person. Thou shalt return me home. It is written. Return you where to my home? granddaughter, Shira Clarwin, serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> What's my religion? Should we try the religion? Let's try religion. I need a five. Got a 14. You recognize the symbol. It belongs to those sworn to Lathander, god of dawn and renewal. Whatever madness this spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies, followers of Shah. And this madness may flow into you. Uh, I could try the insight. Don't know that I'll get this one. This is a tough one. Oh, I got the 17. Okay. Beneath the rampant joy, you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you, but that doesn't mean he won't. Okay. Do I want to commit to this? I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> uh, let's stow the amulet. Chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. We're not going to equip that just yet. <laughs> we're going to do that where we're not quite so uh, much in danger from this freaking earth uh, fire elemental. All right, uh, how far back down the steps can I get? I can get this far. Light on my feet. Okay. So we got to do our. My faith will guide me. Got to see if I can get away from the elemental. Well, actually, what am I doing? I could just fast travel to the forge, couldn't I? Can I just fast travel back up to the forge? Oh, everybody's apart. No, everybody's together. Uh, oh, I can't fast travel in turn mode. Okay. Uh, is it my turn? Let's get going. I want to see if I can jump. 
Can I jump to here? Not enough movement. So all I can do is get to here. And then my turn. Okay, and then I need to jump up here. I need to jump up there. And move over here as much as I can. Okay. The last one's going to be the hardest. I don't know if I can jump back up there. Do I have a potion of vaulting? It's an elixir, though. It'll take away my fire breathing. Uh, oh, maybe I could use a fly? I'll try to do a fly next turn. Actually, I think I'm going to have to do the forge thing. If I go exit this, do this, and just go to the ancient forge. Okay, so I got the amulet and we're here. Then we got to walk down to the forge. We're at 21 minutes. I don't think I want to start the forge just yet. All right? I did get everything up here. Oh, checking things out. No, I didn't get everything here. Well, he doesn't have anything. That's why I didn't get everything here. There's torches. Will, pick up some torches. You're not carrying anything. Just for kicks. Kicks and single gold pieces. I think I got everything down here, didn't I? <sighs> yeah, I got all them. Okay, let's come down this way. Come down this way. Alright, so we're gonna come down here. Now there's four circles. So I'm assuming I have to stand on the circles? Like one person on each circle to make things happen? Right? I mean, that would make sense. So what have I got here? I've got a circle here that has nothing on it. I've got a circle over here with a forge lever, whatever the hell that means. And I've got a circle here with nothing, and a circle here with nothing. So, and what is this? There's a mold chamber and a crucible. Climb a hunt, insert item. Okay. Insert item. Okay. Mold chamber. So that means I have to put one of the molds in there. Which means before I start this, I probably should save. And see what each of the items does. I'm going to need to think about that. Who would I have pull the lever? Probably me. And then we want Carlac close to that. So we want... All right, we need to, like, separate ourselves. We're going to have Carlac. Or, let's see, Will. Sharp as ever. Jump. And you go stand, I don't know, go stand on this one. Char. Char. 
Shadow. Shadow heart. Ready. Whatever it takes. Uh, I'm gonna have you go stand on this one. No time for dallying. Don't know if this is the right thing to do, but that's what we're gonna do. And then Carlac. You're gonna go jump over here. I have you move to this one because you're gonna be the one to put stuff in because you got all the stuff. And then that puts me by the letter, by the lever. In it. Jump down here. And then I'm going to move over there. Deep and move. And then that's what we're going to do. We're going to stop here. And then next time we'll play with the with the forge and see what we can make. Um, if I can, I'd like to go through and make all of them. Let's see what we do with the first one. The first one I think I'm going to make is going to be the splint. Split mail? Scale mail? Whichever one is the medium armor one. I'm going to make that one first. Because Shar can wear that. I can wear that. Uh, even Lazelle can wear medium. If we go heavy, it's really only Lazelle that can wear it. I don't have anybody else in camp that can wear it. So the medium seems to fit three of our characters four of our characters, because I can wear medium as well. So me, Carlac, Shadowheart, and Lazelle can all wear medium armor. So I think that's a good thing to do. And then the other one I probably want to make is the shield, but I'd like to see what the other ones do. I don't know. I suppose I could go look on the wiki and they'd tell me what they all do, right? I can just go with what my gut feeling is. I seem to have really good weapons here. So I'm not sure that a Damnatine weapons, a longsword wouldn't help anybody, a mace wouldn't help anybody, and a scimitar wouldn't help anybody. Because Shadowheart's not giving up that Morningstar with the big, radiant, glowy beam weapon thing. Karlak has got much better great swords to be using than long swords, And I, I have a longsword equipped just in case, but I really don't. I use bows. And Will is stuck with rapiers. He doesn't use scimitars and stuff unless I waste a feat to get him martial weapons. Which I don't think is worthwhile. He has a pretty decent rapier right now. Lazale uses really good martial weapons. Gale doesn't use weapons. And Asterion is he's a thief. He's a combination magic user thief with being an arcane trisker. So a few spells here and there and you know, hide in shadows and chop people up. That's why he has hand crossbows and and daggers and I'm gonna his next feat if I if there is one and I'm gonna get him to be able to like fight with two weapons. I want him to be able to have like a short sword and a dagger in his hand and then like two hand crossbows if he's allowed to do that to shoot things. So that's what I'd like to have him do. I don't know if I can build him that way. That just seems like a neat build for him. Alright anyway that's some plans I've got planned. Um, if you like what you see hit the thumbs up button. If you really like to see, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notify bell, be notified, upload videos under scheduled streams, and we'll come back and play with the Forge next time and see what's going to happen to us. I'm sure there's got to be some big bad thing that's going to come down here, kick my butt, TPK my party, and then I'm going to have to figure out a way to beat it, right? That's just the way it always is with these kinds of things. So, probably get to see a TPK next time, and then we'll come back and try and figure out a way to beat whatever's going to come and beat us. Okay? All right. I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.